Let's talk about why I broke down and spent 250 bucks on a level. Hey everyone, the Chang here to talk about the Send It MV3 precision shooting level. But before we get to that, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon that's off to the right, probably down around here somewhere, to be notified of anything that we might publish. So, uh, I was at a, a precision shooting class uh, a couple days ago, and I was, you know, they were advertising that they had these for sale, and I was convinced that I didn't need one. As a matter of fact, I have a bubble level on my precision rifle already, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So, decided not to get it, not to get one, didn't want to get one, didn't want to spend the money, and next thing you know, uh, day one in the morning, we were getting ready to check the plumb and all that on our rifles and ended up asking for one. So here you go. Um, so this is a company made by uh, an electronic level made by a company called MDT. MDT is famous for their chassis. Um, very easy to install, goes right on the pick rail. And uh, the on, off, and intensity switch is right here. So very easy. Take that knob, turn it. Light comes on, can brighten the intensity. Yes, I don't know if you can see that or turn it down to just barely visible. Um, but as you can see, if I'm tilted too much towards the right, I need to come back here, tilt it too much up here on the right, bring it back down to level. So why is this important? You may be wondering why you need this leveler or cant indicator uh, on your rifle. So first thing is when you're checking for the straightness or I guess the levelness of your scope, you're supposed to use a plumb bob, uh, make sure your gun is 100% cant free, which is totally level, and then make sure that the crosshair, vertical crosshair lines up with that plumb bob. So the issue is with the human eye, we tend to try to make things level. We, our brain tricks us into seeing like the top of a berm or the horizon as being perfectly level. And most things except for a body of water are not level in nature. So we will cant the scope naturally, making the, the, the horizontal crosshairs correct in terms of what our brain thinks is horizontal. And it actually may be off. And as you can see in, in the little graphic there, uh, uh, just a couple of a small degree in variation could end up being 15 inches there at 800 yards. So as you all can see here, I have a Horus angle or slash cosine indicator over here. And on top of it, it has a bubble level. Let's see here, see if we can get that to focus. So you see as we're trying to, well, it's not really focusing very well. You see that? So you got the two lines there, and as I can't the rifle, I'm trying to do this with one hand here, back and forth. That gives me a general level. However, if you notice, the uh, the actual level of the spirit, can't really tell if it's exact, because of the way the bubble is, can't really tell if it's lined up. Whereas, if I'm here, you can see if my eye is in the eyepiece, I can see with that light that it's telling me that the rifle is actually canted. All right, so if I get that to right about there, then as my eye is in the eyepiece, I can see that it's level. Whereas I would have to take my whole head off, take a look to see if that's level, try to hold it while I brought my cheek weld back, uh, cheek back down on the cheek weld without actually disturbing, because you can see the the level is uh, the cant of the gun. It's really easy to cant the gun without intending to cant the gun. So there you go. Um, that's how it works. That's what it looks like on the rifle. Real easy to see. Nice and bright. I can, like I said, I can adjust the brightness uh, for, even for the intensity of the daylight. You guys get to see the rest of the table here. That's where we normally do the videos and then all that stuff's out there. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video, found it useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Again, love to have you subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification that's off to the right over there somewhere. Get my thumb in the, in the picture here. Um, at any rate, thank you for your time. Stay safe and we'll see you all out on the range.